Yeah, and so it turns out that it was something to do with their DNS and it stuck it into a loop and none of their websites could resolve. Yeah, so AWS CEO brags that 70% of their code is generated by AI and within seven days, the, half the internet's down, right? And so like, this just kind of goes to show is like, one, the metric of 70% of their code being generated by AI is total BS. Like, and the thing about it is every time these executives say it, they're like, well, about 70. And as soon as you hear them say about, um, you know, um, uh, Google CEO got on, uh, you know, a podcast and said, hey, look, 10% of our code is generated by AI. And he knew the exact metric because Google prides themselves in KPIs. If you look at these kind of things and you'll always see an about or around or some kind of things like that, you know it's just BS and they're pulling these numbers out of the air. But the, the pure irony to this is that within a week then AWS melts and takes down half the internet. Yeah, you see a couple other just kind of memes here that it, the AWS outage is more impactful than the federal government. Which is uh, unfortunately kind of true too, actually. <laughs> and then you have AWS engineers. There was just a bunch <laughs> of funny memes yesterday. Do you do you understand exactly what happened and what was going on? What can happen is that when your DNS resolution starts to go down, remember that you know you're going to Netflix.com and you were expecting Netflix to come up, and Netflix was impacted by this yesterday because there's a they're a huge AWS customer. So you go to Netflix.com, you expect to do this. There's a whole bunch of DNS resolution of many different sites that it kind of glues things together trying to simplify this, but when that DNS goes down, it literally breaks the connective tissue between all of the hosting. And so the DNS that was hosted in the um, US East uh, failed yesterday and most of their DNS went down, which caused just a ripple effect across the whole system. And do you know why it went down? No. And no one may never know. I don't know. They'll probably post some postmortem on it at some point um, because these are interesting studies. Uh, it just does, you know, it go, but ultimately at the end of the day, it's, you know, not to defend AWS, but to defend AWS, like could happen to anybody. At the end of the day, ever the whole internet is still very reliant on DNS. Got when it. DNS stuff goes down, that can affect anybody. Yeah. Because if Cloudflare saw the similar problem, Cloudflare did see a little blip uh, just a couple of weeks ago, and it was also DNS. If you like this clip, make sure you check out the full Startup Pack live video here because we've got lots more for you today.